Hey, Stan Arthur here. Today I'm going to talk about those of you who might have recently started editing in 4K or UHD or any other weird kind of format with weird sizes that we haven't heard of yet. Uh, you may have noticed that when you're editing in Premiere Pro, you will drag a clip down into a sequence, uh, into a timeline to create a sequence, and uh, you've got the proper dimensions for your clip shown in the sequence settings. However, the video previews are set to 1920 by 1080, and you don't want that. You want them to be the same size as the project you're working on. Let me show you how to fix that. Over here in Premiere Pro, I'm gonna drag this clip from this project down into the timeline to create a sequence. There's our sequence. Now, under Sequence Settings, we're gonna see that because this is a UHD clip that is 3840 by 2160, Premiere Pro has chosen the Red Cinema editing mode for me. The problem with that is that in the Red Cinema editing mode, we are constrained to iframe only MPEG preview files, which are limited to 1920 by 1080. How do we fix that? Very simple. Under the Red Cinema editing mode, I'm going to click on that and scroll all the way to top and pick custom. Now the frames per second are the right size. The frame size is still the same because we haven't changed anything yet. But now down here, instead of iframe only MPEG, we can choose GoPro Cineform in the UYUV 10-bit flavor. And now we can change this to 3840 and the other one should update. Yep, 2160. Okay, so it's fixed. Okay, so now what if we're shooting in 4K. Well, same thing. Just go in here and change this one to uh, 4096. And look, it's already updated down here. So again, you're saved. Your preview files will now be the same size as your original clips. What if you're shooting on something weird like a Blackmagic Ursa Mini and it's 4K is actually 4,000 by 2160. Well, then just change this to 4,000. I'll just change this to zero, zero. And look, it's already updated down here. Now your preview files are the same size as your clips. That's it. So again, Stan Arthur. And if you like this video, all you have to do is hit the thumbs up like and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. Thank you. And we'll see you next time.